you must be able to say this is what I stand for. This is after my life. This is what people remember me for. Mahatma Gandhi was shot in 1948. Uh, up to now, we remember him because of his struggle for independence for India, his non-violent struggle to make sure that the Indians were able to rule themselves. So th that, that is the first step. And so I want you to think about this. Maybe take some one minute to say to yourself, this is my mission, write it down, write and say, this is how I want to be remembered. This should be a problem that exists in society that you want to contribute to solving. That is how you want to be remembered. So that is your mission. And for us to be able to gauge whether you are excellent, you must have the ability to excel at that mission that you're talking about. So how do you do this? First of all, it's very important for you to get what we call leadership values. What defines you? If you look at, uh, for instance, um, church leaders, what defines them? If you look at business leaders, what defines them? So you must be able to get your values. And these values, ordinarily, are influenced by a variety of factors, including family background, upbringing, religion, education, all these shape you. But while you may, you may all be exposed to similar conditions, there is something that is inborn in you, your personality. There is something that whenever you are, you are, you are formed as, as a human being, the, the Almighty God gives you a personality that is unique to you. And this is now what is influenced by the things that you are exposed to, in the family background. I studied in India, and I was amazed when I found a four-year-old girl uh, bite a cherry, and the face didn't even change at all. She, she has been socialized that the cherry is good for her, and she eats it, and it's okay with her. You must develop a set of values which are going to define you as a leader. You want to be excellent? Those are the values. So when you see leaders, for instance, who are corrupt, then they don't have the values of morality, and that's a failure on leadership. So leadership values, what are they? For instance, respectful people, uh, uh, empathy, all these are part of the values that you may get. So think about that. If you want to excel, you must define your leadership values. The next thing is to be able to acquire the relevant knowledge in leadership. What is leadership? Leadership is a variety of things. It's the ability to inspire people. But how do you inspire people? You inspire people by getting to know their needs, what we call empathy. You inspire people by being able to communicate with them. So you must learn all these things that, we, that a leader must know to be able to be an effective leader, to be able to be an excellent leader. And after acquiring knowledge, you need to build skills. Now, leadership skills are not something you go and buy from the shop. It is something that you acquire, you acquire with time out of practice. So you must be able to, you must be willing and able to give yourself the time to be able to acquire the necessary skills. For instance, the ability to communicate, the ability to manage conflict, being emotionally intelligent, all these are skills that you're going to, 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 to need to be able to become an excellent leader. Now, you need a calling, you need the values, you need the knowledge, you need the skills in leadership. Now, once you've done that, you must be able to develop some of these skills, for instance, emotional intelligence. You must be able to develop it so that you are able to relate to people because there are two major leadership functions. One is to get a job done and two is to manage people to ensure that the relationship between people is excellent. Because if people are conflicting, it's going to lower productivity, lower performance. The organization may never achieve its goals. So you need to be able to, to hone these skills, ensure that you develop them so that they can help you to 
to become a better leader in the in the uh, years ahead as you practice your leadership. Now, there are a variety of things you must put emphasis on. I've talked about emotional intelligence. Let me talk about communication, the ability to communicate. Communication is many things. It includes listening, but I should also identify listening on its own as a stand-alone uh, skill that you must develop. Any leader who cannot listen to other people cannot succeed. And empathy arises from the ability of you as a leader to listen to other people. So if you're going to lead people, if you're going to be excellent, you must be a good listener. If you're going to be an excellent leader, you must develop your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is your ability to understand your emotions, understand the emotions of your followers, and be able to use that situation to manage the people that you lead. So excellence in leadership is about those factors that I'm talking about that are going to define you, that are going to define what you do, and that are going to give you that ability to do things in a way that uh, makes people realize that this person is an excellent leader. So, leadership is a journey which you develop with time. And this journey that you develop with time has a lot of bottlenecks. You know, and one of them is failure. Now and again, as leaders, we fail to do things. Now, this failure should be a lesson for you. So the failure should be a lesson for you to say, I made that mistake that time, I'm not going to make that mistake again. So in your leadership journey, remember, you're going to have failures. You're going to have situations where things are not working well. That is normal. That's natural. It's not possible for you to win 100% all the time. No. So failure is going to be an experience for you in leadership and will make you a much better leader because you will not make those same mistakes again and again and again. So I hope that you've been able to pick a few things about how to be an excellent leader. I hope that you will be able to use this little knowledge, just a few things to think about, and see that you are able to, to become a better leader. 